What's going on, everybody? It's Jeff here. Welcome back to the channel. Another rip above $60 today. Gotta love it every single time this happens. I wanted to come on here and discuss something that is being talked about all over the internet, and it has to do with, do with dark pool trading. In this video, I'm going to very briefly go over what dark pools are, what the original purpose of them is was okay why it was actually set to be beneficial for the market and beneficial for retail traders and how the hedge funds have completely turned and manipulated it so stick around guys you're not gonna want to miss this let's get rocking just a nice little look at the chart real quick nice rip up today look at that guys boom about 20 percent on the rip a little pullback it's natural all right guys let's talk about dark pool trading so first and foremost dark pools emerged in the 1980s when the SEC allowed brokers to transact large blocks of shares. Now guys, this was good for the market and it was good for retail investors. Reason being is because when large institutions, I mean, you look at like BlackRock and Vanguard own 20 million, 25 million, 30 million shares, okay, you already know that in order for them to sell shares, there has to be a buyer on the other side. Well, in order to try to find a buyer for a huge transaction, okay, what they call a large block of shares, in order to keep that price very similar to what it's trading at, they would never be able to sell it on the market. And if they did sell it on the market, they would have to sell it insanely at an insanely slow pace because if they sold it directly on the market, they might start selling at 50. Even if they did it over five days, by the time they were done selling 30 million shares, unless there was an absolutely insane amount of volume, the end price that they would sell it at would be 40 bucks. So they would be losing, they would be killing the stock price and so forth. There was actually also rulings that said institutions could not sell a certain number of shares over a certain given of period because it would crash the stock price okay it's another reason why we have halts halt up and halt down in order to prevent you know stocks from absolute crashing so when the dark pools came out it made sense guys take your large block shares off the market okay you want to sell them to one another don't kill the stock price don't kill the retail traders which was good okay and be able to deal that with yourself and therefore also there were different fees associated with it now i know you guys are probably thinking to yourself fees well 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 yeah it wasn't too long ago okay that some of these platforms like td ameritrade where i used to pay 6.95 a trade there were some times where i was day trading especially i would spend a thousand dollars in fees alone now once i got to a point where i was making numerous amounts of trades that 695 price went down to 495 and I think the lowest I got it down to was 295 and now everything is free but the dark pools was a different fee for these institutions so you might be thinking to yourself okay Jeff that's awesome that's great so there it was initially you know concepted for a good purpose but now it's begun to be bad now the hedge funds have used it to be able to manipulate the stock price. Well, let's go back and let's take a peek at the stock price. I'm gonna tell you guys exactly what they are doing, okay? If you look over here, this is just today at the one minute, okay, chart. Basically what they're doing by utilizing these dark pools is they're taking our trades and being traded over on the dark pools. It's not just the big block trades like it was originally concepted for and nobody really monitors this okay and you might say oh the sec and they are supposed to be monitoring this however it was something on the back door it was something that was supposed to be good however they're taking our buy orders sending them over to the dark pool so it's not really adding to the compounding effect if you look at how gamestop moved in january before i believe before they did this it was insane Right, And if you look at how AMC is moving, it's not moving with the same amount of buying pressure that happens. So they're literally taking our buys, they're putting them over on the dark pools. That's why when you see so much of this inflow that's higher than the outflow, but the stock price barely moves. All right, When you're seeing, oh, there was 97% buyers, only 3% of sellers, get the stock price isn't really moving. That's because they're taking our buys over on the dark pool, okay? And however, on the inverse, they're taking our sells and trading them right on the market. Now, I know you might be thinking to yourself, oh, well, there's only 3% sellers or Jeff, everyone's holding, nobody's selling. Well, yeah, but on rips like today, okay, when you look at this rip, when you can see this consolidation right here, guys, 
all right i'm not going to zoom in but if you can see this consolidation right here and you can see that trigger dude that's a day trader's paradise running this 15 percent on a single trade i guarantee a lot of day traders got out of it got back in on it and so forth but if they ran that all the way up knowing how amc has kind of played especially getting to around that 10 30 11 30 mark like this has happened so many times before. Yeah, they're going to sell. So their buy orders might not be happening directly on the market. I'm sure a certain percentage of them are because not every single broker, okay, not every single market maker is actually doing this. But the ones that are, are literally putting the buys over on the dark pool. It doesn't cause the price to inflate. And all of that selling pressure happens right on the market. That's what we've been fighting up against. That's why the dark pools, what we talk about, the dark pools have been affecting us. It, I wouldn't say it's some sketchy, you know, uh, underground casino type, you know, underground gambling type thing happening. No, what they were, you know, when they first were thought about when it was, it was great. It made sense. It was good for retail investors, especially at the time where you literally had to call your broker. By the time you'd be able to make a trade, your stock would be crushed if they didn't have it. But now they've turned around and they've abused it and manipulated it. And that's another part that the SEC is starting to investigate where it was made for large block trades and they're trying to make a ruling now, but they also need to be able to find a way to mo monitor it. That It's only going to be large block trades, which is exactly what it was meant for. Not your thousand shares, 5,000 shares, even 10,000, 100,000 shares. That's not a large block, especially when the entire float here, okay, is 500 million. Definitely not going to happen. So guys, in the end, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you a little bit of insight of what the dark pools are. And also when you ever can sit there just to give you a little bit of calmness and clarity, because like I said, guys, this fight is, is more mental than anything else. You'll understand why when there's a ton of buying pressure, maybe the stock price isn't moving as high as you want. However, when you see that downward pressure, you're going to understand exactly what's happening. So guys, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.